Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Scavenger series. Last time we got ourselves into the defective wall area, and now, my friends, we are at the gym. Unfortunately, we still got to construct it, so we have everything uh, available, which is good. I'm very happy about that. But we still got to wait four hours for it to finish. So after four hours, we can start on our fun, fun grind. And if I remember right, Everything is pretty much ready to go. We have all those items ready. We need to get one more WD-40, 100 mil. Uh, let's see what else we need. Vents. We have all of the motors. Oh, no, we need one more motor. That's right. Because we're going to need one for here as well. And we're going to need to find Bulbex. I think we can find this, like I've said many times, we can probably find this on Lighthouse or we can find it on Interchange. So... We've been going to interchange quite a bit. Let's go back to the lighthouse again today and see if we can find that. Beyond that, everything else is pretty much locked out. We have to get, let's see here. We need to get to the next level for endurance to be able to get to, or like technically the first level to get to the next heating area. We need to find one more D fuel. That's also on the list of things we need to find. And of course the vents will need to get ourselves to level two on dirt or on strength, excuse me. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely. After that point, it should unlock the intel for us. Then we can get the intel up and running right away because we'll have the folder, which means our scav timers will be a lot less. It'll take like 17 minutes versus 25 minutes. And that does make a big difference overall. So for now, we're going to head out and we are going to head out over to Lighthouse and see what we can find. We're also going to try to collect some items to get ready for some of the crafts, like I was saying, because I still want to make grenade case i want to make magazine case and have all those things ready to go so ladies and gentlemen let's do this are you ready oh tarkov doing another thing today where it doesn't want to load up on lighthouse i feel like lighthouse is probably the hardest map now to get onto as a scav streets is like new no problem you you, you load on the streets in like two and a half minutes it's super fast but i want to go over to lighthouse i'm li like I waited 16 minutes and had no luck. I was like, come on, please. I want to get on Lighthouse. I told them I'm doing Lighthouse. Well, turns out we're not. <laughs> oh, cool. There's the motor we needed. Very nice. Very nice. We need to find a WD-40 100 mil. That's what we need. We also need to take these tubes. Let's take a look over here first. And it wouldn't be an episode... If there was an airdrop coming in as I'm talking. Gotta love it. Let's check a look. Ooh, we got some stuff over here. Okay, it's just a scab. We're good. <laughs> I feel like it's if I go back and look at every recording that we've had in like the last like two weeks, I'd, I'd have to say there has to have been there has to have been an airdrop every time. It is what it seems like at least. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, well, there's another one. I've cut a few of them out. You guys may have not heard a few of them. Some some of the times I do actually cut out the airdrop coming in. It's because it is loud. I mean, not everyone wants to hear a super loud thing coming in every, every five minutes. Did I do a raid? Oh, he's trying to beat me all the loot. The cheeky little scav he is. Sorry, man. I'm going to have to take all that loot. I am the loot police, after all. Give up the loot or die. That was kidding. You can live for now. We don't need that much ammo. Take some screws. I was about to say, I'll take the propane. No, I won't. I don't have the space for that. <laughs> Not taking that today. But yeah, like I said, we are very close. Very, very close. And actually, we're probably going to be even closer because I did the when I did the intro, that was the day before. And then I had to go, I had to edit a video for Starfield. Then I had to have a video ready for the, well, for you guys, it was the last episode. So it's been episode six of Scavengers. And then right after that, I had to do... I had to do a, let me see, here, no. I had to do an episode of Red Rich, just get that filmed overnight. So 
It depends on the day. Sometimes I have like where I'll, I'll be filming at like, I don't know, 630 in the morning or six in the morning. And then I'll be filming for like five hours. And then after that, ooh, host, nice. And then after that, that depending on the day where I'm uploading, I'll have to s pretty much start rendering at like noon. And then the, the day's over. I move on. I go do other stuff. But day is like today. It's a recording day. And it's always fun. Because I get to enjoy some more experiences on Tarkov. Okay, so we, we got the... Yeah, we got the uh, motor. We just got to find... A chance to find WD-40. Maybe we go upstairs. There's also a couple toolboxes upstairs as well. Like in the, in the middle section. Let's see if there's anything inside of here. Got light bulbs. Hmm. Honestly, I don't really need to loot anything other than the items we currently need. Because there's nothing else we can work on. Because right now, like I said, we discussed this before. Um, sorry, I just want to make sure that was a scad, not a player. Like I was saying, we're, we're pretty much at the point now where everything we get, it's just kind of a bonus. We can't do anything else in the hideout right now. We have to wait until we get ourselves to the next level up. That's a DVD player. Um, to the next level part of the gym. Actually, like I said, this is the next day. So the gym is actually probably finished by now. So when we get out of here, we could probably do our first gym session and get, get some XP. Yeah, we can. I think we can. We'll take a look, but I'm pretty sure we can. But we'll look at doing that. All right, let's go upstairs here. Actually, let's check Germany before this guy actually gets anything. Quickly, we're being greedy. When I say greedy, we're getting greedy for literally nothing because there's nothing in the store. <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go upstairs to a little construction site up here. But yeah, um, we'll be able to work on some XP today, which should be a lot of fun. I'm happy to be at that point finally. It, it feels like it took forever, but it didn't. It really didn't. This is episode seven and we already have the gym unlocked. And I didn't even plan for it. I was just like, I looked at the time when I finished up the intro for for this episode. And I'm like, I don't have time for this. I have to start literally editing now. Otherwise, I will not be ready. Oh, that that's a lovely sound. Check a couple places here. A cat. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop that. Drop that. Drop that. We'll take the cat. Boom, boom, boom. And especially for the for those that have never like really watched the series before from the first season, um, this will kind of give you an opportunity to understand how the, basically the leveling will work. This is like that. Well, there's a few technically a few different ways to level up that I'm I'm working to see if it's even viable to do it. Because you got eating. You got um, your medical that you can also do, which is basically just break your arm every five minutes and you get 30 EXP. But that's a very, very slow method. There's also like a couple methods, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing some more testing on before I disclose them to see if they're even worth doing. Are you okay? You sound horrible, man. I don't see any dead scabs around. There was no none over at Ollie. We actually might as well head to the back and just start heading out. I am going to check for some D-Fuel quickly. We do need the D-Fuel, so let's go look at some of these shelving units first before we head out. I saw him aiming right at my head, so I'm like, uh, please don't shoot. This guy and I were always lo looking for literally the same areas. He was the he was the one that was over at the uh, the Ollie area as well. I'm really, just looking for any D fuel around here. We still got to find that last one. But we've got much time, you know, many many days to work on that. We still got to get mm, endurance level two is probably going to take us three days at least. 
because you got to wait the 24 hour period before you can do the, the set again to start getting XP again. And it also depends on my accuracy. If I if I have like have like a very slow day of like hitting those those um what do you call them? The ticks, the tick points. Is that the word I want to use? I suppose that's a word I could use. Yeah, we'll use the tick points of the with the challenge you got to do for a little mini game. If I don't hit those properly, well, then we get even less XP. So yeah, that's kind of a thing. We also need to get strength up and strength up is probably take us like an episode or two to do as well. So there's a couple barriers of getting to the next steps, but at least we have them pretty much set in stone, ready to go. At least the motor now is all set in stone. So that means we got the, we got the vents and we got the generator up and ready. Now it's all about trying to get finished up with, oh gosh, what is it? The rest area, rest area, rest area and security level two is the other one. Those are two now the only remaining parts of this that we can actually do. However, I do want to attempt to get on lighthouse again, so I'm going to try it. So you guys will basically see, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to like, Sure, code. There may be a chance that we don't get there because if, if I wait another like 17 20 minutes, it's just not worth my time. I might as well get into maps that we can actually make happen. Good luck to your friend. Let's get the generator turned down so we have a little bit of light inside of here. And yes, the gym is complete. So let's head inside. Now, I also have a working theory that I will actually bring up that I'm still doing some testing purposes with. I'll probably do the more of the testing also on the Ride to Riches series since I had to wait 24 hours for this account, but we also have the gym and the other account as well. But my theory is, is that the more weight your PMC has like kilogram wise on him, the slower the, the mini game goes on the workbench. That is a theory. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Still testing it real quick and we'll see if that's actually a thing. And then I'll remove everything off again and see how fast it goes and pretty much go back and forth. I know it does slow down a little bit when you start getting like low water and low energy, but I still want to see if there's like my theory is correct about the about the amount of stuff that your your guy's carrying. So let's check this out. I, I know there's probably a higher chance of breaking your arm. That I know about. It's not failless. I had a lot of coffee today, so I should be focused. Good. Come on. And yes, me not talking seems to help. Oh shoot, there's a missed one. There's a good one. There's a good one. Come on. Oh, that was the last one. I should be able to do it one more time. That was a good first round though. Very good first round. Very good. Come on. Hey, there we go. Endurance level one. That's awesome to see. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention. Strength level one as well. Oh, it's going so much faster. We got this. We don't got this. Ah, that's all we can do. We can only do two runs. Now, I should also quickly point this out yes i know i can do the workbench every single time after a raid obviously but um for like xp wise i'm curious on if that also gets affected by it too but yeah not bad so we hit level one endurance and level one strength Let's go to the character take a look at skills yeah one and one very 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 good i'm happy about that i actually didn't mess up as much as i thought i was going to so that is awesome now we have 187 xp left to get I also want to check one more thing in the hideout because I'm quite certain I just I'm able to do something. So we got string level two. This is, this is endurance level two we need. But endurance level one, I think, is available for us on this on the space here for the heating. It is. So now we just gotta find ourselves the, the dry fuel and then we can get ourselves heating level two. Which is the you know working theory if we can actually make that happen. Weapon stand, that's not gonna happen anytime soon because, well, that and that mostly this the mechanic issue but we're gonna get there uh, i forget what you need i'm gonna scroll through quickly keep going backwards intel what's the intel i need again security level two so once we get security level two we'll just actually purchase this so we have it we got the map we have everything else ready to go so intelligence will be good um 
And the reason why this is really good is down here. So the scav cooldown timer is minus 15%. That's actually really, really big. And then, I mean, you get quest reward money, but we don't really care about that on this account because we make a ton of money as it is. Very, very, very good. Now, I gotta quickly do this because the energy in the water going up and I don't want that. And actually, can I do one more training session, actually? I would actually prefer to see if I can do one more training session. I can, cool. So I wanna drain this a little bit more. We're not gonna gain any points whatsoever. But that's not the point of doing this. The point of doing this now is to drain the water and the energy as much as it possibly can. And break our arm, of course. That's okay. It's going to break our arm. We won't be able to do anything else in here. However, that is a free 30 XP, so I'm not mad about that. Oh, they're right there. So if you look down here in the corner, you'll see the 30 XP show up. There it is. 30 XP. That's a little something. Now we're at 16 and 17. I have a bag of... Actually, I have... Is it a bag or is it... A rig. I know I filled one of these up. Oh, there it is. So it's all in the pilgrim. So theoretically speaking, I'm still learning this because I've been doing like testing phases to see which one gives the most XP and whatnot. Because we, they, you know, they all give a different type of like energy and whatnot. But I think if you use different types, it gives you more points. That is still also our working theory as well. So we'll do the hammering first. And I always do food first because the food lowers the e the water even more, which is what we want. Squash is going to do us 40 as well. So this will get us right up to 100, but I can do this. We'll do 10 on the oats and then we'll do the rest on that. I'll bring us down to 10 on the water. Now, this is going to give us a little bit of energy as well, but it's not as much. So I'm okay with wasting this. The pineapple juice actually gives Pretty much the same thing, but it does actually give you a stim on that one, which increases your, your energy over time. So we get 40 on that one. Let's do 10 on that. And I should have a water bottle in here somewhere. That gives me 50 on that one. That's fine. We'll drink that. Okay. Like I said, we had 187 XP left to go. Sometimes it doesn't show it right away. So I have to go inside the trader quickly and come back and then look at our character. But we go to the skill, we are good. So we got roughly, I didn't actually look at the XP there. I could probably go back and look at the counter, but it's not a huge deal. So it was 187 we needed to get there, and we got just a little past this. So roughly about 250 to 300 XP. It's pretty good. It takes a while to get to the next level, but if we're doing that after every single raid, it does go pretty fast. And plus we'll get the intelligence center up and running and getting that timer done even faster. We'll be able to level up even faster from that, which is exciting. We're very, very slowly but surely getting there, but it'll happen. Plus, like I said, when we hit level five, we'll get some dailies. Basically the only daily we really worry about is the find and trade. Or, or find and transfer technically. And the scav one that is the, those are the only two we really care about because we can't do anything with the exits We can't do anything with the killing ones for like the other traders. It won't do anything for us So yeah, and then pretty much I just kind of hope that I can Focus on complete as many tasks as I, as I possibly can with the PMC when we take them out But yeah, that's how it works if you're curious I think we're gonna have to give up on the hopes and dreams that we're actually gonna be able to get on Lighthouse today because it is just not working but we were able to get ourselves over to some customs. Should be a fun time. I'm gonna go and check out a lot of the tech spawns. And in, in, in some ways, this is actually probably a better idea. Because I have a lot of different tech places I can check for a chance for the defuel. So we'll give it a look, see what we can come up with. Plus, we can just come out with some other stuff as well. It's on auto. It is now. Right, we got a decent amount of room to work with. Plus, we got a grenade as well. Very cool. Can't say no to all that stuff. Check the PCs. So, yeah. We're just going to check all the tech boxes and basically just cross your fingers and hope that we get lucky. Get cords. I don't really need PCBs at the moment. Check this. Now, I think what we're going to do... Not even think. I know what we're going to do. So, this upcoming... Like, end of this episode, I'm going to clear out the whole uh, stash and make it a lot more neater and try to make things a lot more proper to deal with because right now it's kind of a big, big old mess. And I really don't, I mean, I could do a time lapse, I suppose, but even a time lapse, I don't want to do because I don't want to waste any time for the, the upcoming episodes. 
So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to just quickly sell everything I possibly can to get ourselves one more uh, scab junk box and go from there. There's three grenade boxes here. I think the game is telling me, hey, stop, stop standing there doing nothing. Grab all these grenades. But yeah, I want to be prepared for the upcoming episodes and be able to basically get in, grab as much loot as we can, make as much money as possible, and then we can go from there. Nice. And, and those two things right there will make some pretty decent money for us. Guess we can go through here as well. Check out. I know. I know. Defill usually spawns on like areas of construction and whatnot, like toolboxes and whatnot. But you can find it inside of the the massive tech boxes as well, which is nice. And that's a hose. Very cool. Come on, give us some good stuff, Dead Scav. Uh, that's cool and all, but I don't want that. Nor can I take that. <laughs> a little bit of a bigger item than I was expecting. What else you got? Because now, now that we're pretty much at that point now where nothing in the hideout can be t like taken care of other than the last, th or la technically the last four places that we got to upgrade, which were pretty much there anyway, we are going to now start switching our focus over to gearing up or getting ready to gear up our PMC. So that means we're, we're going to need to get grenades. We're going to need to get guns, ammo, well, technically ammo, not really, but if we can find like high tier ammo, that's always a bonus, but mostly weapons, armor and all that. So make sure we are ready. And also medical. Medical is a big thing. I'm going to have to spend a, at least one episode, I think, collecting because we need to find sailors. We need to find painkillers, bandages, whatever we can basically get our hands on. Because we're not going to have any good meds for quite a long time. Speaking of meds, actually, since we're on customs and we're only looking for like two items, we can come over here and check this quickly. See if maybe someone did not search underneath. And we have what? 19 minutes. We have a lot of time in this raid, so we can we can kind of lollygaggle around. We don't have to rush through it like we normally do. Let's see, there we go. Something like that. The IFAC will be really nice to have. CMS kits will be nice too if I can find more of those. And yeah, we'll just keep searching everything. Just make sure our PMC is ready to go. Now, obviously, we all know that the season is going to be a little bit shorter than... Well, we'll probably actually get past the episode 11 like we did for the last season. But I started the scavengers more late into the season than I did uh, this season. Obviously, we started this basically right at the beginning of the wipe. So we're pretty much on par with the Red Riches like consistently now with the episodes. Or at least I'm trying to. Like every other day. But the point is, is that we should have a lot more episodes and be able to get a lot more progress with the PMC. Even though this is a shorter wipe. Because right now we're looking at three months left to go in the wipe. I'm going to guess probably the end of December is where we're going to be getting the wipe coming. So I want to make sure we get as much like information to learn, like learns for this account and progress to see if we can try to match it for the next uh, next season. Because we will be doing the third season. You guys seem to be enjoying it. If it was something that you guys didn't like at all, I would definitely not be producing it. But it's it's not like on par with the Ride to Riches, but it is pretty high up there. It's done better than the Hardcore series, which is the funny part. I do better with the, with the Scavengers than, than any time I've ever done. Well, I should say that first two seasons of Hardcore did pretty well. However, I would like to be able to finish up some of the red riches by like I want to be done by like October if I can be if I can be done by October then I can run a hardcore series after that so that is gonna be the focus there's a lot of stuff in here don't need the car battery we're all done with those Ooh, a sledgehammer that would have been a really good crate to see at the beginning of last episode but we don't need this time so we got snipers going off. We got people all around us. Action, action. There's someone around here. It's clear for a moment. It's been looted through already. Okay. Oh, what, what, what? What do you see? 
Where is he? He may have gone upstairs. I'm gonna have this halfway up to the top so that way I can aim up there. So he may shoot downward. Get him, Scat Brethren. Go, go, go. Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. We're using this IFAC. I'm going to try to catch him. This guy on the other side. outside currently would you kill him one's dead dead now before this guy comes over and loots everything I literally have in my possession let's see what they got Okay, just a scab. We're good. Ooh, he's got hot rods. Nice. Take the extra mags. What else you got? Ooh, there's that fleece, although I think it's useless now to us. Hmm. I don't even trust scab players, man. I really don't. I lost my faith in scab players so much. <laughs> but they like to murder you when you're working together. I guess we can take the sugar. I've done that combo before. Please don't. Please don't do things stupid. Please don't. Shoot, we can't take both. Heavy bleeds, another grenade. Yeah, screw it. Let me have the armor. They don't have it. What are our exits here? Old road gas, uh, ro old road gates, ro railway to Tarkov, railway to ports. Okay. I think Tarkov's on this side. Are you using B oh you're using BT. Alright, so decent ammo. Okay, I just want to make sure I did take both their dog tags. Don't need any more gas analyzers, we can take that. I feel like I have to voice line because I have to sound like if I like if I say anything I feel like I'm gonna get shot by them because they're gonna go wait scan some talk kill them or at least newer players I feel like that's gonna happen all right we've pretty much hit up all of the tech spots that I really wanted to go for I think it's time to go 
we could go over to reserve would be one map we could check as well uh hello What the heck was that left behind? But yeah, um, reserve would be another place for us to go. One problem is I don't know if we're actually going to find specifically what we're looking for. What the? That's a scab. Okay. Holy, holy, holy. That's all I can say. Holy. I think we found a couple uh, people. Just saying. Um, let's do this, actually. Let's take this. Remove this. Take you. That's it's all yours, man. H have it. <laughs> I dropped the gun, and the scab's like, I want that. Oh, shoot, this bigger backpack. Oh, my goodness gracious, there's a lot more. There is so much stuff in here. I feel bad for this player that died. I guess see if there's anything even in this one. Yes. I'm dropping all the goodies for you, see? You can have every one of them. Just don't be weird and shoot me in the face for no reason. Trying to make some room and also keep that rig at the same time. Although I may not be able to do that. Eh. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Don't need that. This. Actually can't go any of the weapons. I'm actually surprised by that. Drop the power cord. Actually, we can't even do anything with the fleece anymore, so drop it. Drop that. And go boom. Boom. Yeah. Right, he can have literally the rest of it. You take the rest, man. There's a uh, whole like armor and stuff on him. Yeah, go ahead. Take take it. Go go ahead and take it. I have two open slots, but whatever. He can have the rest. I don't care. <laughs> I don't I really don't need it. Oh, that's good. No ammo. How about the ADAR? About half. Okay. Eh. I couldn't wiggle that one. Well, guess we're crawling this one. What what no, don't drop that. I hit the wrong button. Here we go again, crawling on the ground as per usual. I really hope I'm going to the right side. This will be awkward if I get only the end and be like, I made it. And they'd be like, no, I didn't. <laughs> well, little finds like this is really nice. I will take this every single time. I, I know I could have transferred everything to the MMAC from the other rig that's in the backpack right now, but I'd rather have I'd rather have that one because then I get some more helmets in there and, I'll, and I already get some more armor later on so so good we'll get some more armor on later on that's just kind of like the, ch the the way i wanted to go with it all right let's get going gonna go over to the corner there we go good find though for us a very good find so we killed two players then we found two dead players so that that's a pretty good find overall. I guess I could walk it. Keep a little energy if I have to run. And three guns. 
three decent guns actually too this is an interesting adar but i like it okay please tell me this is an exit i'm quite yeah i was gonna say i i thought this was it but you never know well there we go voila we made it out with a ton of gear <laughs> that was not expected that to turn out like that for that custom run <laughs> a happy little run as they say a very very decent run 3100 xp for our scab too two bear kills both level 13 must be friends working together but yeah this is what i'm saying like i have so much loot so much i know that's a pity oh no he has so much loot no it's just i have too much loot <laughs> i need to clear it out a little bit so we'll do i'm gonna do that uh, in between episodes We'll hold this up. It's literally going to be, and the reason why I'm saying this is because there are people that get concerned, like, well, they don't see certain things. It's literally going to be me just taking every bit of loot that we have and moving over to, um, move over to either cash or a scab drunk box. That, that's literally all we're doing. Neither of those are going to work. Should have realized that. We can do this. Actually, we can put that in there. Like this. Put this gun right here. Oh, wait, unload it. Why is it so big? Okay, no one say that's what she said. Okay, I, I know one of you is thinking that right now. You're like, ha, 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 that's what she said. Too big for that one too. Wait, take off the suppressor. It's still, it's still too big. But if we do, I'm doing this live so you guys can see this. See the struggles I go through for you guys. Put that down, then we should be able to fit it. There we go. Armor. Something in here. Oh, there is stuff in there. Shocker. I have stuff in places that I didn't know I did. All right, that should be enough. All right, I'm switching up gears a little bit. We obviously are still looking for the defuel, but I wanted to come to reserve because we need to collect more food. I don't think I explained this when we were in the stash or the main menu, but while we're doing all these challenges, let's just double check, see what we got. Check 15, okay. Um, while we're doing these challenges, in between, I'm obviously not always showing you guys what's happening. But I'm using the gym, getting our health, or sorry, our water and energy pretty much all the way down to one. And then doing the, you know, the method of making XP. If you guys really want to see that, um, leave a comment down below. And I can, well, it won't, it won't be the next episode. It'll probably be the next episode after that. That'll do that, but if you really guys, if you guys really want me to calculate like at the end of the episode how much XP we gained every single time, let me know. I can look at doing that. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't take long to calculate whatsoever. But yeah, just so we can keep moving forward. Crackers. No, thank you. I don't need those. Now, if I'm gonna find D fuel, it's gonna be like it's gonna it's gonna be in tech boxes. At least on this map. We're not gonna find it like upstairs. Maybe in the in the bunker we'll find some places. We really should be going back to interchange though. Just it's too good. It's too good of a place to not go. Anything else I want to drop? No, we're good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit the medical wing here, grab as much medical we could possibly get. Then we'll go next door and go get the food and go underneath. That is gonna be the plan for this map. Until it changes or we find a PMC we can kill. I'm down for it because yeah, I mean our guys got got levels. We have level seven scav right now. We're, we're looking pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with his skill so far. So yeah, we're working on not only our PMC but our scav. He's the, he is the main man when it comes to this series. The, the uh... where's there a bag? Okay, it's all a bunch of scabs. Okay, so he's already looting through here. Let him do the thing. I think this guy's doing the same thing, looking for food. So we're gonna have to get ahead of him a little bit. We got some shots underneath. 
Oh, these things are pretty much full. Nice. Okay, we get a decent amount of this. Decent amount. Crackers, Wilstons, Wilstons. Grab everything. I need to find a bag to set aside. Like throughout these these runs that I can put all Jaeger's food into. I was literally sitting inside the uh, the stash earlier as I finished up doing the gym run. I completely forgot. I was like, oh, I probably should be in the Tashanka as I ate the Tashanka. So yeah, there's that. Got that one checked. We can go through here and check the other ones as well. The annoying alarm, of course, is always here. No, I want to check that. Come on. Give me D fuel. Give me D fuel. You son of a gun. Squash, sprats, buckwheat. Actually, I will take that buckwheat because that is our second, uh, second one to get the M133 shotguns. Let's go check these two over here. Don't need that many mags. Cool, got those. I cleared up a little bit of space. There's not a lot left in the stash, but I did clear up a little bit to be able to make some make some runs finish up. Nice. I think we actually have all of the lunch boxes we need, which is awesome. Nothing in there. Let's go check this little corner uh, room here, just in case. This is D fuel after all, so it has a chance to spawn around here. Wrench. Ooh, military tube. Okay, another item for us to identify. Ooh, I didn't even see you there. Got AA battery. I'm also hoping to get lucky with the bullbacks because we still haven't gotten that item. I don't know where the heck it is, but it is just. It's not showing up for us. Which is weird because I think last season we had found like a ton of them. Keep on searching through the bottom. Search the jackets. It'd be kind of funny if you could go over and like turn out the switch. <laughs> like, too loud! Off! Oh, this one's, this one's got three toolboxes. So we definitely got some chances. Whether we get it or not is the question. Can you guys hear yourself think? Because I can't. We get it. You're a loud alarm. Check downstairs. There was some shooting, so I do have to be a little bit cautious about that. Okay, we're good. Oh, they, they fought some people. Nice. We'll let them loot and we'll take whatever we can get afterwards. Took everything. It's medical. Let's check this. Oh shoot! Someone's been through here. Well, that's definitely not gonna have D fuel, and I need the other type of WD-40. Sodium. How much space have I got? Now well, we're pretty much full. We got a lot of food. We can go check the rations in this one in the in the medical. Call it a run. We got that. Don't want any of that. Let me go grab the other rig, though. Come on. Ooh, food. Oh, this is rations. This is not medical. I don't know why I said rations. Or er, medical. All right. We'll head up to the mountain exit, but what we'll do is we'll check the... We'll check the box real quick. That's out in front, the tech box, and then we'll head up to the mountains. Is this one? No. Drayer. 
All right, check this out. Helen. No, thank you. I don't need that. Time to head out. That's all we really need. It's a quick in and out. I can get I can get some more XP as well from the gym for our scav. And we can move on to the next one. I fear, I think we are gonna go back to interchange though. It's too good of a place to not go right now. Get all those goodies. And then, like I said, once we get all that done, we got those other focuses, but I do want to do a lot of PvP. Strace is gonna have some fun PvP. If I can get on the lighthouse, lighthouse I can usually run to like player two. All right, time to put this one to rest and see if we can get the items that we need. All right, interesting combo of things. I guess we'll do that. Drop the TMO. Keep that. Okay, we need to get over to the back of Goshen and see if we can find that D field that we're gonna need. After you look for that, head over to Ollie and look for the WD40. Oh, shoot. There we go. We're good. I realized I got jammed. I'm like, oh, why does that look funky? Oh, you were a player. Okay. I was like, did I just shoot a scav? But then again, it would have been okay because you shot a uh, another scav, so it wouldn't have, would have like, counted against us. But yeah, it's <laughs> a little confused for a minute. What in the... A source assortment of items are these. Okay, sure, we'll take all that. What else did you have? Do you have ammo? Ooh, hello. He had an extra mag, which is good. Maybe he found a defuel. Please be that be a thing. Please. He's got PS ammo. Wow, alright. Well, let's drop these the uh, shotgun. We'll just take on the SVT. Let me look in. Well, he's got PSM, but he's using LPS. I'm confused. That's a little weird. All right, all right. What do you have? If I can find myself a bigger backpack, that would be nice. Backpack. No backpack. Oh, no, you do have a backpack, but it's smaller. And same size backpack. All right. Let's check the bag over here, and then we can head over to the back side of the mall and look for, look for the items that we need. That was super weird. What level is this dude? 41, and he's wearing that outfit? I'm quite certain, if I remember right, you don't have to wear that 3M body armor anymore. For any quest that I that I, I can at least remember. Maybe I'm thinking incorrectly, but I thought you didn't have to wear that anymore. Check the backpack quickly. Alright, we can just transfer all these things over. That that that. Drop the single bullet. We'll take this from the medical drop drop. And we'll keep this. Oh, shoot. No, I didn't mean to drop that. <gasps> Give it back. Thank you. Drop this one. Take this. I guess it doesn't matter. There's a lot of dead scabs around here. Was a chance for a scab backpack, but I guess there wasn't one. But now we got ourselves a long range rifle. Maybe we get a chance to take down another player. Would be kind of cool. Just gotta hope that the game's actually gonna be nice to us and give us a deep feel. A lot of raids so far, and we have not found one yet, so it's a little weird. Screw not, D battery, no thank you. Sledgy. Don't need another sledgy anymore. All set on that field. No one's to our left. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep her going there, eh? Nothing. Now, I want to try to get back on the lighthouse, so next episode I'm going to still be attempting to get over there. Because I have a feeling with like the higher tier loot that spawns over there, we should have a chance. And of course, Streets of Tarkov. There's, there's so many different spawns for that. 
I just gotta be able to check it all and get a chance to actually get the, get onto the maps. However, streets, we always know that we're able to get on the map, no problem. It's just very easy to do. It's it, the problems are that are gone that they are having with streets. <laughs> that just seems like either a there's not enough people playing lighthouse or b there's just too many people playing lighthouse, and, including like the scabs or scab players, and it doesn't let you on there. I'm so glad that was a scab and not a player. So glad. You know, maybe we, maybe we should ask him actually. Hold on. Hey, buddy. You don't happen to have a D fuel, would you? Oh, bet. I'll trade you. Hey, man. Wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. Um, okay. Okay. Killed this guy, right? 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 Mm hmm. Um, but I may or may not have heavy bleed. Oh, you need meds? Yeah, there's like heavy bleed. It's all you, man. It. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. Uh, you can leave the rest of that man if you want. Uh, oh, I'm good. I'm gonna. I, I'm pretty much full. Man. I killed the guy earlier on, so. Should be all set. But much appreciated, dude. Uh, um yeah. well, you, you don't need anything else quest wise i'm pretty good on quest uh unless you got a wd-40 100 mil like the small can that, that's about all i need no i don't got it uh, no problem i appreciate the d fuel i don't need this yeah, here no. maybe you'll have more use to this um take that I, I don't really have a use for it so you can have that uh i appreciate it man Thank no you. problem, no problem. Good luck out there. Heck yeah. Doing some bartering. You gotta barter a little bit in this game, okay? Trade it up a little bit. Heck yeah. Love it, I love it. I don't know if you guys remember. Who who here remembers the episode? And I, honestly, I couldn't tell you which episode it is because we've done so many different episodes on, in so many series on this channel. But who remembers when we did the scav barter with a player? Or no, were we players? We may have been players. I can't remember this point, but we did like a like a flea market, but in interchange. And I just tossed a bunch of items on a table for a hopefully for a barter of a. Let's check to our, to our right. I'll send you one. We were trying to barter for a chance to get a labs key card, and we actually got it. That was one of my favorite moments ever in this game, because. The guy was just, I was just like, if you have a labs card, I will give you such a good deal. And he was just like, what you got? And then we, we had a whole conversation for like, like 10 minutes talking about how we could like do like a trade. It was amazing. Seriously, the best moment I've ever had in this game, which is so much fun of an interaction. Ah, I love it. Cool. We are set up uh, to get ourselves the next step for... The rest area then which is really really cool very very cool and i'm gonna check for the d or the d feel the the wd-40 and then we're gonna get out of here i'll come back and check all these toolboxes but i'm gonna go see if i can find one that out that's out in the open if there is a chance to find it it's most likely going to be at the far end that's typically where it spawns well, I'm happy I can help that guy out though. I hate when you get a heavy bleed, especially on, on interchange. The one thing this map lacks is meds. Like you've got, you got two chances for meds. You've got the little tiny room right next to tech light and you got the med office that's like farther on the second floor. I mean, of course you also have the one that's over by, oh gosh, what's it called? Uh, I idea, but you gotta have the key for that one. Okay, well he's leaving the mags. It's yeah, it's like a locked up pharmacy, so you can't even get in there as a scab unless you get lucky with the key. So yeah, I, I if I can help someone out like that, I definitely will try to because it's a pain in the butt, man, trying to find meds around here. It truly, truly is. Uh, nothing else on here. I didn't see a WD-40 back there on any of those shelves, so we're not going to waste going around. The only place that we may have a chance to find it, like I said, is inside these toolboxes. And if we don't find it, it's not a huge deal. It really isn't. 
We can just come back next episode and look for it. We can't do anything with it just yet anyway. We need to uh, get the skill points up anyway. Nothing in you. I see another keck tape. Keck tape. Thank you. Do we have some more on here? I, I really feel like we should get out soon just because I have a weird feeling of dying that we're going to die from a player and lose a D fuel after that trade. So let's take a look. I gave him a super good deal for that D fuel. Do you feel technically speaking is only worth like right now it's like 30 40k maybe maybe not even that anymore and i gave him a rfid which is like at least 80k so we gave him a super good deal for that do feel but only because i already have one i don't i don't need it is that a dead player that is a dead player. Players, dead players. Okay, what's this all about? Although if you get lucky to find a body like this, then you're Gucci with the heavy bleeds for that guy. What you have? You had helmets, you had armor. You have M32s, which honestly, I, I never thought in my wildest dreams I'd ever swap out for Sordans, but yeah. I'm going to grab the Sordans, by the way, to put here, but still. Nothing good there. Let me put the drink there. Sordans again. Nothing on top of the water. All right, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Decent. And like I said, with getting that D fuel, we can immediately get the upgrade going for the uh, heating area for, uh, I think it's level two for it. That was what we were missing, just that single D fuel. I'm glad I went back and talked to that guy. He's not like some of the rude scabs we ran into in the past, you know? Or like the false the false scab that was actually a player and he even offered to let me loot the rest of that guy's body how nice of him how nice there are still good scabs out in the universe you just gotta find him all right very good very good i will take that win and we will turn in well not turn in we will make something happen with this well, as we load into the hideout, there's not much else for us to really do this episode. So let's get ourselves the heating area set up and good to go. Very, very cool. Um, I think that was it because the gym, actually, let's take a look at the, the, the person real quick. Yeah, we still can't do anything. We're still severe. It's been a couple hours since the last uh, clip. So, yeah, <laughs> I had a couple things I need to take care of. So you never know, could have been possibly ready. But anyway, that is going to be heating level two set up for us. Uh, intelligence center, what does it require? Security level two? Yes, it is. So security level two, like I said, we are going to be looking for the WD-40 next. That is going to be our next task because endurance level two will not take us that long. We will slowly but surely get there, but it honestly will come a lot faster than you probably expect. I could probably swap this out for the fuel as well. There we go. Get that one in there. And then for the level up for this one, yeah, we literally just need the, the bulb X. If I can ever find this dang thing, we will be set to go. Unless I get lucky and someone accidentally sold, 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 sold it, sold it over defense. Words. Highly doubted, but we can double check. And it doesn't look like they have. I could probably sit here all day and refreshing it probably wouldn't be there. So we're not going to worry about it. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Scavenger series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode, what you're excited about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one.